brown and juicy. Yeah, man, them want eat me. Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alright, so today um, I'm going to be going on the road. I have two errands to run and um, yeah, so I'm going to be heading to my pack. I have a couple packages there and um, I'm going to show you what I bought. So let's head on the road safely. Don't know if there's such a thing, but anyway. So I've actually waited about a week so that I have like a pretty decent haul size you know so I can show you guys some interesting things um and oh it's uptown we all know each other hi uncle hi auntie just joking um <clears throat> so I have about I think um, when I counted last was it 18 I'm not even sure so I'm gonna show you guys what I purchased why I purchased them um yeah see what craziness Tracy has sent for me in the mail but I just wanted to show you this. So I really like doing this when I'm driving. See me, see a car coming in, but you pretend to fix a mirror. You're not really waving at them. Does anybody else do that? <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. All right, all right, all right. Car's gonna come and like, I make sure like, you know, make a little app. Fix something. <laughs> and then they wave. No one else does that? Like, you. Right, so we are in the Manor Park area. I mixed my coffee a little bit too strong this morning, can you tell? Oh, did it? Oh, yeah, I got gas. <laughs> I got gas. Oh lord, I swear, I can entertain myself. Wow! How many packs are pack? No lady, I'm sorry you cannot wait front of me. Any parking that is available? No, that's it. Oui, oui, oui. Is that... Oh, wait, is that... A... Oh, there's space right in front. Is it open? So how come there's space? I never get a space. Oh, why is that man staring at me? Because you have on 10 tons of makeup, my darling. All right, so we are here. I'm going to mask up and I'm going to go and get my packages. And then, um, yeah. And then after that, we have another stop. So stay tuned. are on to our second stop is this it no it's not it's always turn on so my second stop for today is i'm heading to lady b mixology because i'm picking up my little pouch of goodness i'm not sure what my flavors are today so i have my little drinky poo for tuesdays with tricky later um yeah i'm really excited because it's summertime now so she's using nice little summer flavors and her stuff tastes really good I have a friend coming over later. I should have asked for an extra one, you know. All right, let me not park too close. I when you touch your reach. I was just about to say, I don't know why I park so close, you know, because my battery will be, it's not like, it's not like I can just slide out with ease because I'm the size of a pencil. I am the size of a sausage, right? A nice turkey kabasa, round and juicy. Yeah, man, them want eat me. Nothing not, not that for boys, boys. <laughs> Something not that for boys, boys. Yeah. Got a dislike right there. That's exactly how you get dislikes, Jody. That's exactly how you dis. At least I wear my mask. I don't think I got a lot of um, paint transfer. <laughs> When I wear my mask, I talk really funny because I don't want anything to transfer. Okay, I'm going inside. That's enough of that. Turn off the car. 
Let me go see what I hit. It was just a curb or like a small animal. Back on the road again. All right, so I've just picked up my pouch from Lady B Mixology. Today I have a mango blueberry and my the liquor in there is whiskey. So I'm heading back home now. Um, I wonder, did I mess up my makeup? So what I'll do when I get home is I'm just gonna take all the packages upstairs because let me tell you something. Open the back. Look at this man. Look at look at him. You have blocked up the hallway. Tweet. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna take all the packages upstairs because I want to be in the AC. Oh yeah. Okay. Anyway. You know, it's been so nice having somebody in the car to talk to. Usually I'm on a road all by myself in the day. This is great. Maybe I'll set up this camera more and just talk to it. Maybe I'll name the camera. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? It's in a red case. I feel like I feel like red is like it could be sexy man or sexy girl. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What should I name the phone? Oh, what should I name the phone? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, you crazy. Okay. So my coffee machine broke, right? So I've been using this drip thing that Winsom lent me. But I don't know if it's making the coffee too strong. I don't mind. But I definitely think I'm, um, I'm um, a little bit, you know, a little bit giddy, happy today. I'm not sure. Maybe it's because I have all the packages. You know when you do shopping, when you go shopping, you just feel like, yeah, you know? You know? Okay. <laughs> all right. Or maybe it's because I know I'm about to like, you know, get my drinky poo on. It's Tuesday. Who drinks on a Tuesday? I do. No, what was it? Alright, let me all right, let me do a good one. Let me do a good one. I wait for that. Wait for a car. Got him! <laughs> It was my cousin, you know, my cousin was like, yo, 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 you ever do this before? And I was like, no, that's so mean. And he's like, yo, I do it all the time. <laughs> I need some water. I need to calm, calm down, calm down. Why was he looking at me? I should have waved to him. Oh. Um, we have a green light. Do we really? Oh, I don't understand. Oh, the traffic light is askew. Word of the day. Oh yeah, the traffic light needs to turn. All right, so I'll be back to you when I get home. Hi guys, and we are back to inside the closet. I feel lean, I feel lean. So I'm back at home and it's too hot to be opening anything downstairs. So I'm gonna open all my packages right here. I have them beside me. I've set them up behind me for Aesthetically reasons I've piled them up here. All right, so let's start opening and I will tell you what I got and what each thing is good for. Let's hope my dildo is not in, <laughs> in these packages. It's joking. It's joking. All right, so this first one, is he's not gonna take one. This first one is from one of my favorite companies. It's called Primally Pure. And <clears throat> at the beginning of the pandemic, I started to go on my natural deodorant journey. journey. So I realized that I was using a lot of antiperspirant um, and I was conscious about it because before I go to the gym, when I bathe to go to the gym, I don't wear antiperspirant. I usually wear a natural deodorant or just put on some powder. And I said to myself, I kind of want to take that a step further. Um, in this pandemic, I'm not going anywhere, um, you know, so I kind of want to do the transition. I've never purged long enough to be able to get rid of the smell. Um, so I said, I wanted to try. Um, I don't know how many of you watched Tuesdays with Tricky, but some of the earlier episodes, it was all about my underarm, how it smell, how it look, and what deodorant I was using, and if it worked or not. Um, but my friend linked me, and she was like, hey, so, it's not even the deodorant though. So anyway, that's how I knew about the company Primally Pure. 
Um, this time around, so I started ordering different things from them. They're they're like a not, they make a lot of natural stuff, natural deodorant, natural natural lotions, and I was ordering a few things, and I ordered one of their room sprays, and it smelled absolutely fabulous. And that one is finished, so I ordered this one. <laughs> Couldn't even send one little free something. Anyway, this is what they sent. They didn't send it. I bought it. I love a room spray. I love a room spray. I just like when the room smells good and fresh. This one is spring. Was I supposed to shake it first? Their autumn one was really nice. Okay, in here it smells nice and fresh, you know. I like to spray up the room and they kind of just get out any like stale poop smell. Next up, we have... Oh, what is this here? What is this here? So as you can see from like the tape here, customs goes through just to make sure that you're not bringing in drugs. Actually, they are making sure that they are charging you the correct amount, which is not the correct amount. It's way too much. Jamaica customs is disgusting. So this is a meat thermometer. So the other day I was making lamb and all kind of fancy stuff and I realized that I wasn't getting the correct temperature. So this meat thermometer here, it comes in a nice little fancy wooden case, was, um, I was complaining about it and oh it charges, it's actually, this is the base it sits in to charge. My friend was like, oh my gosh, is this really good meat thermometer. You stick it into the meat um, at the beginning, it, it, it works on an app, you stick it into the meat at the beginning and you leave it in there. And you check your app and I guess the app will ping when it gets to where you want it to go but your meat cooks with this in it which I think is really really cool so I'd have to keep opening the oven taking it out blah 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 um, so this is mm, the brand meter I thought it was pretty cool so I can continue making more fancy meats so this, and this is uh, give a hundred dollar wine voucher you got me. You got me. Not that I'll bring in wine through my mail courier. Okay, so for those who are watching from overseas, um, when we shop in Jamaica, when we shop online, we bring in our packages through a freight forwarder. So what the freight forwarder will do is um, you send it to their address and they will um, pack the packages for you into their plane. Um, bring it into Jamaica, they'll clear customs for you and they can deliver it. I choose to go and pick mine up. I don't know why, I just I'm excited to go and pick up my packages. So the freight forwarder that I use is called Mail Pack and they have um, a store about three or four minutes away from me and I go pick up from there. So, um, so basically when we're shopping in Jamaica we buy the things twice because you have to pay for the things and then you have to pay customs. So my freight forwarder does customs and everything for me but Customs, 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 customs. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this. Okay, so this is from Amazon. This is a fridge drawer organizer. I love to organize. I really like to organize. So coming up, I'm gonna find out if she will allow me. So I went to my girlfriend's house the other day and her pantry cupboard was a mess, like a complete mess. And I said to her, you know, no disrespect, but will you allow me to tidy up that pantry for you and just put, you know, some shelf risers, some little containers and stuff like that so you can find everything a lot easier and um, and I get to organize and clean it. And she was like, sure. I really like to organize. So I was tidying up my fridge the other day. Oh, and there's two in here. So this goes onto the fridge shelf and then you pull it out and it's your eggs. So, can you see that properly? Yeah, this goes on the base of the shelf, clicks onto the shelf, so it's like, it kind of frees up more storage, so you don't have like the egg carton sitting on a shelf, it's almost floating on the shelf. This is, oh my gosh. I, I can't wait to unorganize my fridge. Wait, that's, it's not an empty box. Oh, that's so exciting. And I just defrosted the freezer today, Tina. Oh. All right, coming up next, we have, oh, this is another Amazon package. So we have, I'm sure I've shown you these before. These are booster pads. So with Levi, he was a really big baby, like a very chunky baby. Once we got up to size, size six in diapers, they don't go any bigger. 
and he was sleeping through the night but um he was soaked like we we soaked every morning so i said i needed to find either a bigger diaper or a more padded diaper or a liner that i could put into the diaper to absorb more wee wee through the night so that he can have a more comfortable sleep he wouldn't wake up and that he wouldn't wake up in a pool of wee wee um same thing with remy she sleeps through the night but um Sometimes she'll wet herself just because it's a lot of wee-wee sleeping and you wee-wee and you dream some nice dream I eat this ice cream and you dream and it's a wee-wee. So I just put the, um, like a diaper line. It almost looks like a pad um, without the stickiness on the back and I just put that in the diaper and they can just sleep on wee-wee all night long. Wee-wee, wee-wee, wee-wee. What's next? Oh, these are really good. These are excellent. So, this is my little box cutter here. Whenever Levi gets a cut or a scrape, I use this solution. I don't use hydrogen peroxide or alcohol, that's mean. I use this stuff, this band-aid solution here. And I just use it to clean the cut. It's antiseptic and it's hurt free. It doesn't hurt him. So I use that to clean the cut. Next, oh, I'm gonna fix my bathroom door. Door stopper here. So I got a different one. The one that I have now is all fancy. You use your toe and you push it down. And, but I find that Sean doesn't use his toe and push it down so the door is always slamming. So this one is more of a deliberate, you have to pull it up. So I don't know what I'm saying. I just bought this because I want a new door stop because the other one is too fancy. So I'm putting this one on there because I'm sick. Let me tell you something. I hate to hear doors slamming. I hate to hear doors slamming. I don't like it. Like my thing to stop playing with the door, stop playing with the door, stop pulling onto the handle, stop swinging off the handle, stop pushing the door. Why do people close the door like that? Hold the handle when the knob goes in, push the door close and release. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Can't take the low door opening, man. What is this? Glow recipe, watermelon glow, ultra fine mist. You know me and my skin products. And somebody did uh, make a comment on, I think it was my skincare addiction video, um, saying just be careful of the products that you purchase on Amazon because some of them may not be from the um, authorized dealer. So now I'm a little bit more careful with that, not just looking at the reviews, but looking at you know who is who the seller is. So I don't want to spray this on now because I have on a lot of makeup and I'm just scared. But I do, you know, in the days I wash my face about, I bathe three times a day and I wash my I wash my face three times a day but um, after that middle day wash I just spritz with this or maybe I keep this in my back oh I'll keep this in no if I keep it in my cosmetic bridge I'm gonna forget to use it so I'm just gonna keep it some little tips for me she's been keeping in her headband for an hour now so you know I got all excited so I got some tips in every color under the sun so it's just a little bow and it just snaps in I can't wait for her to get her mane of curls. What is this? What is this? Oh, so the bag, my reusable bag that I keep in my handbag, it broke. So I just got another one. So I'll fold this into this and just leave it in my handbag. Um, not really for the groceries, but you know, if you're going to like the pharmacy, you're going to like a one liquor shop, and you know what? I really have gotten used to our whole no scandal bags um, rule law. And yeah, so I was using my reusable bag until it broke. And now this one is actually great because it's waterproof, easy to wipe off. And that's the thing, like, you know, I need it to be easy to clean. I like to clean, I like to clean. So I just want to make sure that it is easy to clean. If I wash it, it's not going to take forever to dry. All right, and that goes in my bag. Fabulous. Next thing in this is, ooh, I was just complaining in the car. Okay, so the silk mask that I have now, the black one that I was wearing um, earlier today, driving around, um, it's just gotten a little old. I've had it, during this pandemic, I've had one, two, three masks. The first one I actually had to throw away, I just starts to get yucky. Then I had that silk one you saw me with today and it has like a wire in the nose and it's just gotten so old. So I am gonna replace it. I never thought I'd have to be buying masks, like honestly. 
So this one now is another silk one. It has a wire in the nose. Um, but I find that this silk is just a lot easier on my makeup and there's a filter here. I'm just a plain color. I was like, okay, let me go with something other than black. I'll hand wash that later. Actually, I think I think it's a hand washing, like I'm too rigorous with the hand washing while the wire gets bent. Let me do a little tidying up there. Alright, next thing we have here is let us see, let us see, let us see. Sometimes, you know, they don't want you to get your things, so they just seal them so damn tight. Oh, there's a pull, an easy pull tab, but then Customs has like taped it closed. There we go. Alright, so I know it's not the best thing to do, nor is it recommended. look this good <laughs> what bro what are you talking about man so sometimes you see ads on um, Instagram and I get trapped all the time so anyway there's this company called Vogue me and they sell glasses and I was like okay so I've been wearing glasses since I was in fourth grade and um, just to help read and you know over time you just get whatever whatever your eyes, I don't find my eyes, my eyes got a little bit worse. Um, I had these really nice Bulgari frames. I actually bought the frames and then had um, my optometrist in Jamaica fit the lenses in and I have not worn them in easily two years. They were really just for reading and computer use and I just kept forgetting to, to draw for them and, and wear them. And it was a couple months ago, I'm reading, I'm online and I realized it's taking my eyes a little bit longer to focus. So I went to Shay, she's my friend, she works at Broadbent. So she hooked me up with a pair of frames. And those are the red ones you see me wearing in the evening when I'm reading to Remy. You can check me out, story time over on Jody Jinx, um, my Instagram page. Um, and then I realized like I was going to the country or I kind of just want a, a, like a cheapy pair to just fit on my head. You know, you just slide the glasses up on top of your head, which you're not supposed to do because it will stretch out the arm of your glasses. I saw these ads for Vogue me, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try them out. I'm gonna see, you know, what they're all about. Um, not only do they have the frames, but if you have your prescription, you can put your prescription in and they'll send you glasses that are prescriptionized to your prescription. So I got these, just some really, ooh. Oh, okay, okay, I'm cute. This is cute, like, you know, just, like a fun pair, like I need a fun pair of glasses, you know? It doesn't have the the anti the anti tint or the, the like my, my red pair of glasses that are my like formal pair. They have anti tint, they have anti fog, they have the um no they don't have progress, they have things. And so these ones are just my prescription, just you know, easy cheesy. So cute. Okay, okay. And I didn't go, I didn't go crazy because it's not like I read, gla I need glasses 24 seven. I just need glasses for like, you know, um, watching TV. Oh, and I was told also when you're watching TV, it's, it's good to watch TV with an ambient light. Oh, I got, these were the other ones I chose. Okay. 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 All right. I mean, I don't hate them, but okay. I guess they're like a playful pair. <laughs> All right, children, everybody, please sit down. Everybody, sit down now. All right. So the first lesson today is I think outside the box. Get the frames that look good on your face. Life is too short to have like ugly glasses. I think that's um, one of the like not, um, the logos for a glasses store. Anyway, so I got these as well. So you know if I'm like. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe I'll keep a pair in my car, you know, if I'm hurrying somewhere and I need to read quickly, like, yes? Okay, got it. <sighs> I read in a tizzy. So I'm just gonna pack these up neatly and nicely. 
So, yeah, okay. Weird. I don't know why I keep going into this voice. It's so weird. But these are cool. These are cool. I'm glad I got these. I think they worked out to about, what was it, 70 bucks up here, depending on your prescription and like your add-ons. So they, they get you, you know, because they're like, oh, glasses frames, $1.99. So they do have frames on there that are really cheap. Um, but then when you start to add your prescription, of course, it's going to be a little bit more. What is this that they've sent? This looks like, like an uh, like a Allen key, I guess, to tighten the glasses. We'll keep that safe up there. And they've sent a 15% off. You know, I kind of, I think I want to get a pair from mommy. The amount of things in fear glasses. Progressive, this, that, cataract, fall up eye, this one, that one. Can't see good out of this. Hers are going to cost so much. How much were mine? Mine were less. 30 and 30 is 60. All right, so one pair was 60. And then, so what did I add in mine? I added, oh, I just added blue blockers and then my prescription. So one pair was 60 and the other pair was 60. They were both 60. They're both 60. And then I have a 15% off. I'm going to save this and ask Momino. I wonder... I don't know is it like if your prescription is too strong do they even give it to you? that was a dumb question so maybe i could like hey mom let's measure your face okay i'm gonna keep this on mommy that'd be so cool she can get because she wears glasses 24 7 just for her to have like a little crazy pair you know all right let's head over, head over to the big boys drop a comment are you bored All right, so here we have a big pink thing. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. Okay. So I bought a, oh, I gave it a, I bought a, 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 a headband wig. So I found that since starting to film YouTube and to film Tuesdays with Tricky that I try different makeup looks, I try different foundations. Um, today I'm wearing the Fenty foundation but I find that the Fenty doesn't work very well with my concealer. Is my phone So just to try different brands, try different looks and it's really been cool because also I've been able to work on my timing you know not that I'm gonna race to do my makeup but that you know I, I just I find that makeup is like a skill that if you don't use it you'll kind of lose it um, but I work on like different looks you know so I'll be like print my hair back braid my hair curl up my hair or I'll wear my wigs so this one is this is really dark though this is really 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 dark oh but it's a headband wig so you okay so what I'll do is I'll pull my hair back and then see the headband hair Oh, okay, okay. So I got a headband wig. So do you want to know a little, um, it's not really a secret, but with all the freight companies, every single one of them, they have the most returns, complaints, and online hate when people order hair. They get the hair and most of the times they don't realize that the seller that they've ordered it from is like, a garbage seller like this is from Amazon so I'm, I don't expect anything from this guys you get what you pay for um, this is actually not bad I think I paid $60 for this but honestly like all the freight companies get the most crap for hair because people like see all this hair like when you go on Instagram or on any social media and you see the ads mo most of the times the company will take a picture from um the designer yeah let's say from the designer and then they put it on their page and what they try to do is they try to replicate that dress or they try to replicate that hair and then you're like oh my gosh that dress looks so good meanwhile it's like a dolce and gabbana dress you know and you're like oh it's 60 dollars oh wow deal i'm gonna get it and then when you get it and it's a complete knockoff you get vex and then you blame me for it forward up that's not how it works anyway moving right along if you want to hook up for really, really good human hair that looks really good, you should link up Trish. At the beginning of this pandemic, okay, Trish, I'm gonna load you up right now, okay? Naturally laced wigs. 
Oh, the breeze. I bought a wig from you. And I haven't picked it up <laughs> over a year. Trish has it for me. I link her all the time. I kind of want to find like a weekend where um, I'm not going to the gym and I can have it installed for me and it looks really nice and cute. And it's my fault that I have not been to her to have her put it in. But I link her all the time with my wig. So if you want a really good wig and that will look amazing on your head, real human hair, you can link Trish. But um, the Amazon wigs, it's hit or miss. So they sent me a little gift, some lashes. I'm not sure if these are lashes or like a baby wig because I don't know, I don't... I... Okay, so since in this pandemic I've been doing different makeup looks, maybe I will try these on. I mean, these are a little extra, but... We have a wig cap to hold down my hair. They sent me all of this. And they sent... Oh, a headband. Very nice. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Next up. We have, oh, so in my organizing, I have, I ordered, um, labeled some of my bottles, flaxseed oil, sunflower oil, infused olive, olive, olive oil, olive oil. So I just ordered some labels here. It all has to match, it has to be the same color, it has to be the same font, the, the bottles are probably in here too. It all has to be the same type of bottle. I like to be organized and I'm crazy. I know, get over it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, 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 you crazy. All right, next package. I'm really, really surprised that I haven't bought up stuff for Tracy just yet. But she thinks I'm her mailman. Can I get anything for me? All right, what do we have here? We have, oh, I ordered another mask. So I think I ordered like a black, I don't think, I ordered a black silicone. Is this silk? Oh yes it is. Oh it's very thin. Oh this doesn't you can't put a filter in this one. Oh and there's no um no wire up the nose. Okay, okay, alright. Little flimsy whimsy, but okay. Could be worn as a panty. My nigga. <laughs> come warm, come warm. Oh I ordered a new pair pair of bedroom slippers. My grey ones got really really dirty and then I was gifted. Um, a pair but I've really stretched them out so I got black so you can't see when they're dirty nasty girl <sighs> alright so the next thing we have here is I don't recall <gasps> thank you lord thank you thank you thank you my coffee machine Life can be back to normal. Life can be back good. Life can be back to normal. Oh, another thing in this box. So this actually works really good. It's the OPI drip dry oil. Oh shit, it emptied out. The whole thing emptied out. Oh no. That sucks. Empty. So, I'm not one to cause a fuss. I really am not. Like, I'm sure that was $7 or something. But if I was to link, if I was to link me a pack and show them pictures and be like, hey, it came empty, they'd order a new one for me. But I hate to cause a fuss, you see, man. I hate to cause a fuss. For $7? I'm not. Mm. All right, let me, let me take a picture inside the box. Because it's a dry oil, it's not really grossy grossy in there. I don't, I, like honestly, I really don't feel like... No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna order anyone. one. What's $7? I'm not. And somebody have to sit down at their job and read. Jody Henrique says, Hi, I ordered a blah 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 and it leaked out in the box. Here's the invoice. $7. Please replace. You must be like, Yatch. Replace your brain. Anyway, back to what's in this box. So last week, the carafe for my coffee machine broke. It was a glass one. And so I was doing a little research online to find a new coffee machine. And I love this brand, OXO. I think it's a really good brand. It's very durable. I have a lot of their products that they make for baby. Um, and this one, the carafe, is actually stainless steel. And it has a really good um, rating for 
this is a kind of brew that you get so as I mentioned earlier the brew that I've been getting from the little drip drip thing that Winsome lent me I think it's a little bit too much coffee <laughs> so this one um, it's only an eight cup I'm the only person in the house that drinks coffee um, and it takes up a, it takes up less space on the kitchen counter and it's stainless steel so it will look really sleek and sexy and nice and lovely so we're gonna set that up later Ooh, I've got some stuff to do I'm gonna fix up my egg holder I'm gonna fix up my coffee machine mm. today's a good day oh I have to be careful you see these packages here they have like some white coffee thing in them let's see Toner card fronts. What is this? So usually when I get things that I don't um transfer gel do it. This sounds like something Nana has ordered, you know. Um I don't like let me just make sure it says to Jody. Oh yeah, it's this one moment. It says to Sean Henry because um it looks like paper stuff like for make card making. So that's probably for mommy. So I won't open her things unless it's really interesting. I'm like, Maya, look at your ordering, girl. All right, we have the next package. We have here. This must be for Timmy. So my brother started a little business where he is cold smoking meats, fish. So he'll cold smoke tuna and he will cold smoke um, marlin and salmon. Actually, not marlin. Did he say marlin? I think he can smoke the marlin, but um, he hasn't sourced the marlin just yet. So he will um, he will vacuum seal them, and these are the vacuum bags. So his business is called Holy Smokes. You can check them out on Instagram. Um, and the salmon is really, really good. The salmon is excellent. I just had the tuna this weekend too. But then what I did with the tuna, I didn't realize I kind of um, squeezed a little lime on it. And I kind of wanted to taste it before the lime went on. It was great, same way. Um, just, you know, if you want to taste like the... The, 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 the product itself I would prefer to taste it without any additions um, but the salmon was amazing the tuna was great I fixed it up with a little red onion a little capers and a squeeze of lime fabuloso um, and these are the vacuum bags for holy sauce next up that was a whole lot of nothing I just did up next we have envelopes and we have a dress. All right, this must be Nana again because envelopes. But let's fast. Oh, you know what this is? Oh. All right, I'm not gonna open it. She did tell me yesterday. She ordered some a set of pajamas for Tracy with just a little button down in the front, so that when she's breastfeeding, it will be easier for her to just flop her boob out so this must be the pajama here and then I definitely know this is mommy's package because we have some envelopes here next up bullets bullets for some nerf gun if I want it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So I'm going to organize my um I'm going to organize my kitchen. I find that I'm always organizing my kitchen. Um so I'm gonna put my Sesame oil, my soy sauce, my rice wine vinegar, and there was one other oil. I'm gonna put them in these bottles. Um, and just to, I like when I open my cupboard, everything just looks nice and neat. And what has been happening is my spice rack looks really good, but then the cupboard with all of the like oils and sauces, it's not uniform. If you think I'm crazy, subscribe. <laughs> so I want them to be a little bit more uniform, so I'm gonna try out these bottles. And then I have the labels over there. 
Um, in that was also this brush here. So on my whole, oops, on my whole um, doing makeup in the pandemic, I want to use a foundation brush and see if there's a difference from using a little sponge or finger application. So I just got this. This is by Kashima. Very, very, very soft. Serious than this thing? Oh, okay. And then last but not least, this was a good haul today. Like I feel good. Like I feel good. Um, so I don't know if this is like a problem. I did hear somebody else say this. So when you get um boob upgrades, they don't really fit or they don't sit nicely in wire bras. I don't know, like it's very uncomfortable for me. I don't like it. Um, I would prefer like, I don't know, I don't know. I have not, or maybe it's because you know what? I have not been, like I don't know my size. I have not been bra shopping since the new installments. So I don't know my size. And to be ordering 40 and $60 bras online and they don't fit, and then it's an underwear. So you really don't want to like give it away or you know what I mean? Actually Tracy comes and takes them. But, uh, yeah, so I haven't bought a lot of underwire bras. So I'm not having like the support I need or want um, So I ordered these these are just some <sighs> These are just some race about these actually look a little big I'm gonna Go under my clothes. Oh, no, okay Just to get a little bit of support so I got a pack of four black white gray and um Ain't nobody this color, actually. I need to go in this one. This color here. Flesh tone to the nail tone. All right, guys, that is it for my shopping haul. I'd like to thank you so much for listening to my foolishness. And please make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the video, um, and let me know, drop a comment below what you'd like to see me do next. Um, yeah. Oh. I, you know what? I'm, I'm not. Oh, I'm gonna go downstairs and organize. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Okay, what was it? Outro that time that I really liked. There was an outro that it was really like short and sweet. It was like. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. See you soon.